It takes only a glance at the business section of the newspaper or annual report of a company to see how extensively percents are applied in business. Let's take a look at understanding and converting percents. Percents are the primary way of measuring change among business variables. Interest rates, commissions, and many taxes are expressed in percent form. For example, a business report might say revenue is up 6% this year or expenses have been cut by 2.3% this month. Percents are another way of expressing quantity with relation to a whole. Percents means per hundred or parts per hundred and is represented by the percent sign as seen here. 5%, for example, means 5 parts out of 100 and may be written in the following ways. Before performing any mathematical calculations with percents, they must be converted to either decimals or to fractions. Because percents are numbers expressed as parts per 100, the percent sign means multiplication by 1. Therefore, 25% means 25 times 1 over 100, which equals 25 over 100, or in decimal form, 0.25. Here are the steps to converting a percent to a decimal. Step 1. Remove the percent sign. Step 2. Divide by 100. Note, if a percent is a fraction, change the fraction to a decimal, then follow steps 1 and 2. Here's an example. If the percent is a fraction, convert the repeating decimal, round the decimal to hundredths, like 0.67, and then follow steps 1 and 2. Here's the example. To divide a number by 100, move the decimal point two places to the left. Add zeros as needed. Remember, if there's no decimal point, it is understood to be at the right of the digit in the ones place. For instance, 24 equals 24 with a decimal. A percent is a way of representing the parts of a whole. Percent means per 100 or parts per 100. Here are the steps for converting a decimal or a whole number to a percent. Step 1. Multiply by 100. Step 2. Write a percent sign after the number. Note, if the percent is a fraction such as 3% or a mixed number such as 43%, change the fraction to a decimal, then follow steps 1 and 2. Here's an example. To multiply a number by 100, move the decimal point two places to the right. Add zeros as needed. As a navigational aid to the direction of the decimal point, consider the words decimal and percent as written alphabetically, with decimal preceding percent. When converting from a decimal to a percent, the decimal moves right. When converting from percent to decimal, the decimal moves to the left. A percent is a way of representing the parts of a whole. Percent means per 100 or parts per 100. Here are the steps for converting percents to fractions. Step 1. Remove the percent sign. Step 2a, if the percent is a whole number, write a fraction with the percent as the numerator and 100 as the denominator. If the fraction is improper, change it to a mixed number. Reduce the fraction to lowest terms. Step 2b, if the percent is a fraction, multiply the number by 100 and reduce to lowest terms. Step 2c, if the percent is a decimal, convert it to a fraction and multiply by 1, reduce to lowest terms. These formulas have three variables, the base, the portion, and the rate. In business situations, two of the variables will be given and are the knowns. One of the variables will be the unknown. Once the variables have been properly identified, the equations are simple to solve. The variables have the following characteristics, which should be used to help identify them. The base is the number that represents 100% or the whole thing. It's the starting point, the beginning, or the total value of something. The base is often preceded by the word of in a written statement of the situation because it's multiplied by the rate. The portion is the number that represents the part of the base. The portion is always the same in terms of the base. 
For example, if the base is dollars, the portion is dollars. If the base is people, the portion is people. If the base is production units, the portion will be productive units. The portion is often called a unique characteristic that is being measured or compared with the base. For example, if the base is the total number of cars in a parking lot, the portion could be part of the total of the cars that are convertibles, the unique characteristic. The rate is easily identified. It's the number with the percentage sign or the word percent. It defines what the portion is of the base. If the rate is less than 100%, the portion is less than the base. If the rate is 100%, the portion is equal to the base. And if the rate is more than 100%, the portion is greater than the base. The following percentage formulas are used to solve percent problems. Portion equals rate times base, or P equals R times B. Rate equals portion over base, or R equals P over B. And base equals portion over rate, or B equals P over R. Here are the steps to solving percentage problems. Step 1. Identify the two knowns and the unknown. Step 2. Choose the formula that solves for the unknown. Step 3. Solve the equation by substituting the known values for the letters in the formula. Here's a hint. By remembering one basic formula, P equals R times B, you can devise the other two by using your knowledge of solving equations. Because multiplication is indicated, we isolate the known by performing the inverse or opposite operation division. Don't confuse the word percentage with the percent or rate. The percentage means the portion, not the rate. Another method for remembering the percentage formulas is using the magic triangle. It's my preferred method. The triangle is divided into three sections representing the portion, rate, and base. By circling the letter in the percentage triangle that corresponds to the unknown of the problem, the triangle will magically reveal the correct formula to use. Let's take portion as an example. P equals R times B. You see it right there in the triangle. And so on for each of the other formulas. Portion is found by multiplying the rate times the base, P equals R times B. The following examples will demonstrate solving for the portion. We'll use the formula portion equals rate times base, also expressed as P equals R times B. I prefer to use the magic triangle when thinking about these portion formulas. If we use the magic triangle, we see that P equals R times B. Here's an example. What is the portion if the base is $400 and the rate is 12%? Step 1. Substitute the knowns for the letters in the formula. P equals R times B, so P equals 12% times 400. Don't forget to convert the percent, the rate, to a decimal. So P equals 12% times 400 is really 0.12 times 400, which means our portion is 48. When solving for the rate, your answer will be a decimal. Be sure to convert the decimal to a percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right and adding a percent sign. We use the formula rate equals portion over base, or R equals P over B. Using the magic triangle, we easily see that rate equals portion over base. Let's take a look at an example. What is the rate if the base is 160 and the portion is 40? Step 1. Substitute the known values for the letters in the formula. If R equals P over B, that means that R equals 40 over 60 or 0.25 or 25% for our rate. Remember, the rate expresses what part the portion is of the base. When the rate is less than 100%, the portion is less than the base. When the rate is more than 100%, the portion is more than the base. When the rate is 100%, the portion equals the base. To solve business situations in which the whole or total amount is the unknown, we use the formula B equals P over R. 
Our formula is base equals portion over rate, or B equals P over R. We can see this using the magic triangle easily that B equals P over R. Let's take a look at an example. What is the base if the rate is 21% and the portion is 58.8? Step 1. Substitute the known values for the letters in the formula. B equals P over R, which means that we put 58.8 over 21%. Here's a hint, don't forget to convert the percent, the rate, to a decimal. So really, 58.8 over 21% is 58.8 over 0.21, which is 280 for our base. Percentage problems can also be solved by using proportion. Set up the proportion and cross multiply to solve for the unknown. The ability of managers to make correct decisions is fundamental to success in business. These decisions require accurate and up-to-date information. Measuring percent changes in business activity is an important source of this information. Percents often describe a situation in more of an informative way than do sources of raw data alone. Rate of change means percent change, therefore the rate is the unknown. Rate of change situations contain an original amount of something, which is either increases or decreases to a new amount. Once again, we use the formula rate equals portion divided by base. In solving these problems, the original amount is always the base. The amount of change is the portion. The unknown, which describes the percent change between the two amounts, is the rate. Here are the steps for determining the rate of increase or decrease. Step 1. Identify the original and the new amounts and find the difference between them. Step 2. Using the rate formula R equals P divided by B, substitute the difference from step 1 for the portion and the original amount for the base. Step 3. Solve the equation for R. Remember, your answer will be in decimal form, which must be converted to a percent. Here's an example of a rate increase or decrease. If a number increases from 60 to 75, what is the rate of increase? Step 1. The original amount is 60, the new amount is 75, the difference is 15. Step 2. Substitute the values into the equation. The portion is the difference between the amounts, 75 minus 60 equals 15, and the base is the original amount, 60. Now we substitute these values into the formula. Step 3. Solve the equation for R. Remember, your answer will be in decimal form, which must be converted to a percent. R equals 15 over 60 equals 0.25, which is 25%, representing the rate of increase. Keep in mind that the original amount, or the beginning point, is always the base and represents 100%. If the rate of change is an increase, add that rate to 100%. If the rate of change is a decrease, subtract that rate from 100%. Here are the steps for determining the new amount after a percent change. Step 1. In the formula portion equals rate times base, substitute the original amount or starting point for the base. Step 2. If the rate of change is an increase, add that rate to 100% to get the rate. Step 2b. If the rate of change is a decrease, subtract that rate from 100% to get the rate. Step 3. Solve the equation for the portion. Here's an example. Affiliated Insurance estimated the number of claims on homeowners insurance would increase by 15% this year. If the company received 1,240 claims last year, how many can it expect this year? Last year's claims, the original amount is the base, B equals 1,240. Because the rate of change is an increase, we find the rate by adding that change to 100%. 100% plus 15% equals 115%. Step 3. Now substitute these values in the portion formula. P equals 115% times 1,240 which equals 1.15 times 1,240, which equals 1,426 homeowners insurance claims expected in the year. 
In some business situations involving percent change, the new amount is known and the original amount, the base, is unknown. Solving for the original amount is a base problem, therefore we use the formula base equals portion over rate. Here are the steps for finding the original amount. Step 1. In the formula base equals portion divided by rate, substitute the new amount for the portion. Step 2a. If the rate of change is an increase, add the rate to 100% to get the rate. Step 2b. If the rate of change is a decrease, subtract that rate from 100% to get the rate. Step 3. Solve the equation for the base. Here's an example. At Costco, the price of a Sony HD camcorder dropped by 15% to $425. What was the original price? Step 1. The portion is the new amount, $425. The original price, the base, is unknown, so portion equals $425. Because the situation represents a percent decrease, the rate is determined by subtracting the rate of decrease from 100%. 100 minus 15% equals 85%. Step 3. Now substitute these values in the base formula. Base equals $425 over 85% or $425 over 0.85 which equals $500. Percentage points are a way of expressing a change from an original amount to a new amount without using a percent sign. When percentage points are used, it's assumed that the original amount of the percentage points is the base amount, or the whole to which the change is compared. The actual percent change in business, however, is calculated by using the following formula. Rate of change equals change in percentage points over the original amount of percentage points. For example, if a company's market share increased from 40% to 44% of the total market, this is expressed as an increase of 4 percentage points. Calculating percentage points is an application of the rate formula, with the change in percentage points as the portion and the original percentage points as the base. Remember, rate of change equals P over B, or the change in percentage points over the original amount of percentage points. Let's take a look at an example. In this illustration, the change in percentage points is 4 and the original amount of percentage points is 40. Therefore, the rate of change equals 4 divided by 40 or 0 0.10, which is a 10% increase in market share. When a competitor built a better mouse trap, a company's market share dropped from 55% to 44% of the total market, a drop of 11 percentage points. What percent decrease in the market share did this represent? Step 1. The change in percentage points is 11 and the original market share is 55, so the rate of change equals 11 divided by 55 or 0.2 which equals 20% decrease in market share.